What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. It's uh, winter now, and actually what ends up happening here kind of in the fall, winter transition, is that rodents like to come into the home, whether it's, you know, into your walls, uh, you know, under your siding, into your garage, whatever, you know, your wood pile. And so uh, you can certainly trap them, but sometimes it's just easier to repel them. And so I picked this up. It's a Radio ultrasonic rodent repeller, and I think these things do kind of work. Um, it's gonna be hard for me to prove to you that this works. Uh, if I don't have any mice running around, maybe that's a really good sign. But, you know, I'm gonna use this because this is actually one of the largest ones I've seen. So I've had in the past uh, some rodent repeller, repellers, sonic repellers, that just kind of plug into an outlet. They're pretty small, or maybe the size of this little Bluetooth speaker, maybe not even as big as, as that. And so I've always kind of questioned their efficacy, but, in this case, this sucker seems pretty robust, and I'm actually, one, surprised about how large it is, but look at these these speakers. Uh, so I feel like these should put out some pretty good uh, into the ears of your little rodents, the ones with a really good hearing. LED light up here, white plastic, obviously a, a, a black metal grate over it. We have three legs here. Uh, all with a little rubber pad on them. And then we also have like a cord channel right here. So I think this might be depending on, you know, which side you're gonna have this cord kind of running out of. If you're gonna put this on your nightstand or honestly, if this is gonna be up in your bedroom, you could put it under your bed. If it's, it could go in your attic, you could put it in your garage. And, you know, I, I'm i always kind of curious. I know these are, are for getting rid of rodents and whatnot, but I kind of wonder, like, does it bug dogs and things like that, too? Who knows? It also looks like there's a variable volume on it. It, says, it looks like it allows for a 2x variable volume. Two-prong, non-grounded outlet. So I'm just going to plug it in here and start seeing what we can get. I don't know if my camera here will pick up anything. Obviously, my ears aren't going to be good enough to hear any kind of ultrasonic sounds. Uh, should be on there because I see a little green light. And oh, it's interesting. I can kind of hear something. Can you hear that? It's like a little pulsing. You know what's also interesting is when I put it up to the camera, I leaned right into it and I got my ear about this far away and I can hear it and honestly ooh, it's it's not like loud but it is annoying so I guess I wouldn't be surprised if this works on rooms because you know it's back it's maybe a foot or two away from my face right now and I'm not getting that annoying sound but I tell you what when I leaned into this uh, it was, you know, I kind of had like this migraine headache feel. Almost. So that's really, really interesting to me. Now I know in places around my, my compound uh, where I have generally had rodent issues and that's kind of the wood pile outside and things like that. So that's where this is going to go. It's going to go in the garage and uh, I will be honest, this is putting out noticeable sound. You can kind of hear like a little tap, 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 clicking um, as well from it at, at this distance. But, you know, if this is more than an arm's length away, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to make that out. But I kind of really believe this is going to work. I'm kind of excited about it because now, hopefully, maybe I won't actually have rodents hiding in the logs or on the firewood pile or trying to chew their way through my siding. Anyway, check it out. I am already stoked about this thing. I'll put a link to it in the description. Rodeo, Ultrasonic Rodent Repeller, Peter Von Panda, out!